10 pigs in our trailer. We're gonna get them in our deep bedding system. Just 48 hours ago, I had no idea I was starting a pig farm today. We got them in. It's been a crazy day. Here's the story. You guys remember my buddy Mike and my buddy Ben. I sat right there. My buddy Ben sat right there and he said, So Mike knows a guy who needs to sell his farm in two weeks. Are you interested? Ben said he's got cows, chickens, pigs. And I sat right here, as sure as can be. I feel like my animal farm plate is full. And then yesterday, Mike calls Rebecca. So she picks up the phone and talks to him. And then he texts me. So he's got the infrastructure, he's got pigs, he's got cows, he's got all the things. Hey, Mike Bacotti called and there's a farm that's liquidating everything. They have cows and pigs. He raises them the Salatin way, so if we're interested, we can get a good deal. What'd you think? What was your initial reaction? At first I was like, no, we don't need that's anything fine. else. <laughs> right. And then our entrepreneurial brains got going, well, Maybe we could get some steers and, and harvest them for our beef. Maybe we could get some pigs, pork for everyone, right? And start our pig business. Are you guys excited about going? Yeah. yeah. First, we dine on homemade whipped cream, fried, fried apples, and, and what do you call those? Dutch, Dutch babies. babies. Dutch babies. That's kind of like a carnivore pancake, isn't it? Because it's, uh, it's, it's egg based. Yeah, I mean, it has a little bit of coconut in it. Should I go load the trailer or should we eat? Let's eat. Piece of bacon? Yeah. Breakfast was great. We've got to get the trailer out. I figure we're going an hour and a half one way. We better bring a trailer just in case we're going to get a bunch of stuff. We've arrived. Haha. -ha. Eggmobile. Oh, look, Becky. Oh, no, we're getting our stuff. People are beating us to it. Tractor. Sheep, livestock trailer, chickens, guard dogs. First up, the farm shed. We're definitely interested in that walk-in okay. fridge, or is it a freezer? Yeah, it's a freezer. Oh, it's a freezer? It's a freezer. Heck yeah. Oh, Chest freezers. We don't need another ice maker, we do we? We don't need another ice maker, but this one's much nicer than ours. <laughs> yeah. Take off down that road. Let's get the sheep up there. Looks like they're trained to one strand of line. Good for him. Poultry processing equipment. Oh my. He's got a legit scholar going on. Heavy duty plucker. He's got a washing table. I know, I like this. Is this a custom drying rack or is yeah, this a custom. thing? Oh. Yeah, and then nice. we hang them upside down. Okay. About oh, nice. Here. It's great because then legs you just the... take your bag, you shake it in, wow. and then you come back and seal it. Good night. Let's that vacuum them. seller. I'm like, I'm like, I want that, 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 but we do not do the volume <laughs> yeah. of birds. What do you want for everything? The whole everything, kit and kabuta, everything chicken you see in here, processing. Uh, I'd want probably anywhere from 10 to 13 grand. Okay. Good. What would it have been brand new? Brand new, I bought everything for 15, six. Okay. How much for this? That was 800 new. Um, I'd, I'd part with it for six. Can you get it? <laughs> Can we get he doesn't, I'm open and he doesn't bat an eye. Business. <laughs> what's wrong with grandma's? It's, it's grandma's. grandma's. <laughs> That's what's wrong yeah. with it. Jonah, you would be, you're washing the manure off the, yeah. off of the, you know what? I mean, you do that. So if you want that, he said he'll sell it to you for five. Yeah, I want it. <laughs> All right. We got pigs. They've moved them back into their training ground. Okay. How old are these pigs? These are three months. Okay. Three months old. They're all three months. I have some more yeah, up there that are the younger, uh -huh. and then I have some brand new ones. So and I have these, all ages. Six, these six, would be good for feeders. Yes. How many are in here? Twenty-six. How many are taken? Ten. Okay, so there's sixteen left. Correct. Right. Jonah and Josiah, you want those pigs? Yeah, I want these. Sixteen pigs. Boy, these are wound up. These are a different breed. These are a. So the bigger ones, it's a Poland Mission pig. Okay. And then you see the two that are white. Or white. Pink. Yep. Yeah. So that's an old spot and uh, Berkshire dad. The oldest in here is two months and then the youngest in here is one month. So okay. a range from one to two months. Okay. 30 to 60 days. And how, how old do you like to harvest? I like to go six to seven months, but also around weight, 260, 270. And you're feeding all they can eat all day? Free choice. Every day? Yeah. Till harvest? Man, what a nice... Pig land. Oh, it's great. 
nice and cool in here. That's great. This is pig paradise right here. Yeah. Yeah. They've rooted up some grass right there. Yeah. So why are you guys selling? Well, we got to. Uh, we're selling because our investors uh, ran out of money, and mm. so we can't continue operating. Yeah. Uh, without money. But it's not our choice. We would not love our to choice. Keep doing this that. is hard for you. Mm -hmm. Very hard. Mm -hmm. Absolutely hard. What's the hardest part? Parting ways with something you love to do. Um, and the, animals. the you're, animals, you're emotionally invested, you're physically invested, just the investment in general. What do you think about all this? You're the pig guy. You want to just blast into the pig business? Sure. We're out in the field. That was just so perfect for pigs. What do you want me to do, Jenna? Buy the whole system. I think I should buy the whole lot. Besides the wire and the post. We would need the feeders. The feeders, the pigs, and the water. Yeah. We need the water. Henry says yes. No, you would, wouldn't you? You would. You got no worries. When it spins, it drops feed in the basin right here. Okay. And so it eliminates feed waste. Yeah. So oh, nice. Yeah, yeah there's so no feed out here. There's no feed on the ground. So they get to eat what you put in here. So how long does that tub last nine big old pigs like this? Oh, this right here, that'll last a week almost. Will it? Yeah, because you can adjust the drop on it. Right here, mm -hmm. you can adjust how much feed. Okay. Is how much for in. this thing? This is uh, this is five fifty. I would take three seventy five for this. How much did you want for the livestock guardians? Because uh, so they're hard. pairs, so yeah. you would sell them together. I'm assuming. I would like to sell them okay. together. Are they both brothers? They need yeah. to stay together in the herd. Are they brother flock. and sister together, or is it like sister and sister and brother and brother? It's sister sister. Okay. You were saying that the dogs are the hardest for you to yeah. give up. Why is that? Because they, they become part of your family. Um, you, you get them when they're babies, and you watch yeah. them grow up, and you see your family interact with them, and you see your Does kids. Does that mean you go in there and pet them? I pet them. Yeah. You let them out. I, I let them out. Yeah. I let and them they out. Still, they and they still, still are set do their job. And they don't try to get out and come after you. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I love this. This is somebody else doing polyface deep bedding design. That deep bedding is. Deep bedding now, you can see how high it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's like, oh, we need to get them out. And I'm downwind. It's not bad. bad. And look, they all bunch together. They got all this room. So they all bundle down. together. Cows, heifers, babies. Look, they have bull calves. 100% grass fed. 100%. If we get a cow, can we have a Texas longhorn? No. Why not? I, <laughs> I would like it. Okay, you heard it when it gets out. You heard it when it gets out. He told me he's gonna be he's gonna be the one dealing with it. Rebecca's eyeing the hide of the Texas Longhorn. Look at this one. I think we should hang it up in the pole barn. Though. Yeah. yeah oh, we could do the, the skull and the horns. Yeah, in the pole in barn. The pole barn. Or not the pole barn. Pole. In the people people barn. barn. Joel Salatin style pole barn. We've got the cows on the side on the deep bedding. Big, wide, open, tall so that you can have lots of hay in here. This is a, just a really nice setup. Lots of cows per bay, because look, they like to stick together. Hey. Look at the dogs. How long have they been in this spot? Uh, here, about four days. Okay, they seem happy to see the children. Yeah, they look. The no, they're not touching the fence. And they don't need a doghouse. No doghouse. But these are the younger, a little bit younger. They were, they turned one March 1st. They're trained to sheep and, do and, and chickens? These ones are sheep. sheep. These are chickens. All right. Yep. These, are the sh these are the chickens? These are the last sheep. couple days we've been trying to do But sheep, sheep ones don't seem to be going after the chickens, huh? No. We need to take the pressure washer. Or if we're going to do pigs, we could maybe take. There's 16 pigs, those medium sized pigs. <laughs> oh wow. But chicken. Yes. <laughs> should we take something? I just said, yeah, I should but take But then we're like one. putting them in a stall, Let's we're trying to figure dog. out water Let's tonight. Take a sheep dog. I want to take a sheep dog. Well, we're talking about pigs. Yeah. Let's, take, okay. Let's take 10 pigs. 
right. We have that stall. We have the pig stall. Okay. And we can have the pig stall. And we have water and feeds easy. Okay, we're gonna try for it in 20 minutes. Can we get 10 pigs? That's probably not all we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna think about this and come up with an order. For now, that's what we're doing. My thought is we have one acre for sure, and you can dedicate 10 pigs to one acre. So that's what we're gonna safely take home tonight. We're gonna count up, look around, and see what else we can get, make an order. Oh boy, he's got tools too. Jonah's on the miter saw. Go ahead and load that. Thank you guys, good luck selling everything. I'm sorry. Ron, if you, get, you and I get a picture? Oh yeah, <laughs> heck, yeah. heck yeah. I gotta get a picture. All right, let's do it. Jeez. You can't just come and then say see ya and don't get a picture. All right. There you go. You probably three Justin Rose. Thank my you. Account. Thanks, Mike, for the connection. Yeah, you're very welcome. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, no problem. How's everybody feel about that? We got ten pigs. That feels ten. amazing. And a, and, and a the couple of nice tools. Well, I want a cat. I don't know about a third cat. Did you uh, set up the pigs? Yeah. Really? That fast? What's our deep bedding situation like in here? Oh my goodness. What's wrong? It's leaking. It's very slow. I mean, a little bit of leak is okay. We just moved all our wood chips thinking we were never gonna use this again. We got some <laughs> Oh, but we're gonna get them out pretty fast. Yeah. If pigs get out, it's bad. They have no orientation. There's no getting them back. Now, I'm gonna go get an escape door and push them through. We got them in. Come see them, Grandma. Oh, oh my. They're, I thought they were little. Oh my. These are medium. They've already found the water. All of us need food. Thank you, get in. And just like that, we started a pig farm. <laughs> it's the next morning. It's raining outside. Didn't go to sleep till like 11 o'clock. Woke up at 5.30 this morning excited, thinking about the possibilities, what else we might get from this guy. But I realized I probably didn't tell you what we did get. We got three pig feeders, one pig waterer. We got a sheep. Livestock guardian dog. Already been trained. Good with sheep. Good with people. That's exciting. That's a first for us. A walk-in freezer and three cows that we're gonna raise in the spring and then harvest for meat. Oh, and yeah, the 10 pigs. Just like that, we started our own farm. And I've been uh, brainstorming about this and trying to figure out well, what else could we do? Could we get more? Uh, Pig for everyone, right? Could we get some and sell them as feeder and sell workshops? Could we do a harvest workshop? Anyway, more on that later, I'm sure, as I develop it. So far, the business plan is developing <laughs> nicely. If you guys are interested in any of the things that Hunter had, let's help them out. Let's get them sold out. They only have like a week and a half to do it. So I'll leave a link in the description with his email.